We'll set up. Very good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Take it. That looks like it's going running fine. Welcome everybody to some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is the what are we on? Sixth episode. Six. Think four, so. I thought. Yes, yeah, six. Oh, four. Fourth episode. Yes, mm -hmm. fourth. Okay. I think sixth session. But for Probably, episode. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yep, 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 yep. Cause because we had some like episodes. Some that of them have vanished into there. the void, yep. <laughs> it's okay. Right. Okay. Let's uh let's focus on it. Right. So um one of our players um is stepping out of the campaign. But luckily, it is our wizard friend who comes from a different world. <laughs> so, um, somehow, some way, um, he gets snapped out of this world um, through the same means of which he came, which nobody knows. But to the party, he um, disappears in a flash of blue energy, like, yeah, in the flash of blue energy. Boop. There we go. It could be time travel. <laughs> time travel, dimension travel. All no of idea. All, all the things. Cool. At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Okay. With that out the way, we'll uh, we'll go into who people are, what we're doing here. Uh, so we can start with um, start with Tim and and go 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 across the bottom. Okay, finally I'm starting on time. Yep, yeah, yeah. got to mix it up, keep it fresh. <laughs> so, I'm Tim, and as always, I'm playing Tech Redfire, the yeah. Moon Druid. Give us a ping. Uh, this there thing. That's why we needed the ping, and it's like, that's a bear. What is that? That's a, it's a... Our ox. <laughs> Our ox. Yeah. It's, it's a cow. It's a cow. <laughs> nice. It's a cow tag. Cool, I've cool. looked it up. So you're Tim, you're playing Thuck, and, uh, and what has been I'm a... yeah. playing the cow that is right now entangled <laughs> in... Uh... He calls it a shambling mound, but everybody of us knows that is not a shambling mound, <laughs> that's something homebrewed. <laughs> yeah, that is it for me. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. <sighs> Next. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Yep. I am still. I'm. I'm. I'm a tattoo. I'm. I'm well, I'm playing a stell. My name, and it's right here. Yeah, your token. I am. Right, so that's good. Yep. My character is basically a merchant. He's also a part of time adventurer. Mm -hmm. Um, he's he's currently dealing with a whole bunch of crap. He just noticed Necromi's gone, and he di and he just took out a giant black sludge. <laughs> yep. Nice. No, I best introduction. <laughs> it's alright. It's, it's, it's all good. And uh, next. Oh. Hello, I'm Chris or Märchen is my character, oh, my player name. Uh, and I'm playing Sunny. One with a red circle. Yeah. I'm pinging. <laughs> uh, well, uh, 
about the sludge that got eviscerated recently, uh, my action before that was to make it believe that Estelle was on fire. Nice. So you made the otherwise. Uh, I'm worried. Was on fire. Sunny, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Otherwise, Sunny is worried about what that green shambling bush thingy is. Nice. Uh, and I'm Dangerous Sphinx Goldheart. I'm the dungeon master. I play everything else, and yes. Um, so this is where we do a little bit of a, um, a flashback to last episode from your characters' perspectives. What does your characters remember, people? What, what, what do you remember? We got out of the dungeon without fully exploring it. Mm -hmm. Yep. I still got a lot of magic items that he can use. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of magic items. <laughs> I got a dwarven flute. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, was it just a staff that can can potentially give you haste? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna be using my character sheet more on D and D Beyond with Beyond, um, Roll Twenty Beyond, mm -hmm. Beyond D and D. Cool. I've updated that. Um, we are. F I am worried. I still just wants to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll give you each a fake coin for your introductions. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna add that to my character sheet right now. Yeah, do it. Do it right now. Each of you get a fake coin. Okay, so um, so what do you guys remember about the shambling mound that uh, you've witnessed it do? It absorbs electricity. <laughs> that it did not react to my command. Whether it's saved it. or not, I don't know. Or oh, Sunny doesn't know. Basically. Hmm. Um. Other news is that there's an Orox currently charging at it. Well, it's currently entangled in it. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's true, that's true. Well, we'll see if I, if I can do anything about it. Yeah, so other things to note. Um, so he kind of hijacked the spell that was cast above him because mm. um, um, yeah Thak uh, cast um, what did you cast? Thunder something? Lightning? Um, call lightning, call lightning. Yeah. Uh, and just... it, it didn't dissipate when um, Thak dispelled it or, or, or no longer controlled it uh, so that and happens. now the shambling mount has and, a power up. <laughs> yeah, and the shambling mount electrocuted itself and regained hit points mm. um, through the um, spikes that it. Uh, so it. So to do this, it needs to like crouch and um, like these like thorns come out of it to attract the lightning to it. Um, but that takes a turn. Or, or an action. Um, probably giving you a little bit too much information, but that's fine. Uh, and then it's got <laughs> two glowy things in it. It's got a glowy thing at the top and a glowy thing in the bottom. I think oh, we already just tried one of them. Yeah, and they are glowing. What did I say? Red at the moment. Um, when a death bell hit him, hit the top one, it glowed a little yet white and then went back to red again. A uh, what? When Necro Necromi uh, hit him with the uh, that um, told the dead, told the dead, yeah. Um, which was um, necro magic, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Necrotic damage, yeah. It's which... necrotic damage. I think it's also Can't a necro, not necromancer spell, but a cleric. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's necromancy as far as I know. Yeah, ne necromancy spell yeah mm. yep 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 cool 
Um, so they're the things that uh, to be noted um, for people who take notes. <laughs> um, with that, in the position to take notes, it's an ox that is right now. In <laughs> I'm talking to the players here rather than the characters in game. Yeah, but still, uh, you, you cheeky ball. <laughs> right. No, tech okay. wouldn't take notes. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, we're halfway yeah, through the jeans. fight, um, and your, you know, your uh, turn order is up. Uh, we'll just keep it as the turn order, I think. Be easier. Okay. Um, I'm going to... So, the shambling mound is going to do its lightning thing. Um, and then I roll this. Um, so it's gonna so so you see it uh, wrapping around Thak, but then also these um, thorns on its back um, attract the lightning. Okie dokie. And then uh... yeah, did something get rolled? It did. Mm. That's the attack. No. That's it, summoning is lightning. Oh. Okay. Um, so you see the lightning strike it, and um, you see it channeling the... Um, I'm just going to say energy. It's, I don't know. Actually, you are a druid. Roll as a nature check. If you want to. Yeah, no, it's just absorbing the lightning. I think you're too preoccupied with getting <laughs> wrapped up in vines. Um, cool. The thing is, this character has no proficiency in nature nope. and a plus zero. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, Sunny, it's your turn. And then, Estelle, you're on deck. Okay. I've stayed still for uh, a so I get that back. Once my turn rolls around, I start... First of all, I walk a little closer. So, oh, yeah. yeah, you you see your wizard has that vanished I'm... through a portal uh, blue. Huh. <laughs> Me being worried, I'm exactly 60 feet right now. Mm -hmm. um, get close enough and uh, pluck a couple discordant chords oh. on my loot and cast Dissonant Whispers. Mm. Which... Uh, means my opponent has to make a wisdom saving throw or take a couple damages. So you have to make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Uh, it failed. It failed. It did. Interesting. So you t t take 12 psychic damage and as a reaction you have to move your full movement away I and flee that. Wait, That's good. If, he, if, if, if he flees, doesn't you take the, get the oxen with him? So what was the damage of that? Psychic. Okay. You see the top um, orb glow. Glow white. I think yes. that would be forced movement, um, so he has it's... only half movement and has to take I... me with him because I'm grappled. Uh, addition, uh, although if the creature can't be charmed, this has no effect. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to say Dissonant it probably can't be charmed of what it is, so I'm going to say in there. It's... Well, if it's not in the stat block, if it doesn't say anything about not being able to be charmed in the stat block, then it shouldn't be... <laughs> Well, uh, sh it shouldn't have any resistance. Conditions, immunities, blind, deafened, and exhausted. So, no, it can be... It can be, it can be scared, charmed. I think. <laughs> yeah. You can charm so, you can it charm. has to take its reaction to leave. Yes. Well, it's not its action yet, so... Yeah. It's reaction. Oh, reaction. Okie dokie. So... Yeah. It, on Wait, points. hang on. Let me just... Uh, dispel... Mm-hmm. Ah, I should have used the other button. There okay. So... 
And I cast it at first level, so... Uh, on a failed save, it takes 3d6 uh, psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if, if available to move as far as its speed allows it away from you. Does move into obviously dangerous terrain, but I don't think there's much of that anywhere. So its movement speed is 20 foot, even through water. That's interesting. But uh, um, yeah. but I'm restrained by it, so it would take me with it. Uh, but as far as I remember, if you are grappled or restrained by a creature like this, mm. and it takes you with it, it only has half movement or something. There was something like that. But I can't it quite It definitely remember. wants to take you with it, so yeah. So, 10 this way. Additionally, uh, if I may, before uh, Tuck gets out of my range, mm -hmm. uh, I shout some encouraging words uh, at him with my, use my bardic inspiration. Okay. okay. And uh, I just take the roll above. Basically, uh, y you can do it. Get knock that thing on its ass. <laughs> And I, no, that was Weller Bards, where you can use it on damage. Yeah, uh, mm. this is for attacks and saving throws. Mm. Ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. And it's a d8. Can I use the d8? Do you already roll it, or should I roll it? Did I? Oh, uh, no, you. Ha uh, yeah, I assume okay. you roll it at the, that point. Mm. Okay. Um, otherwise I can't really do all that much. I hold my ground. Oh, he's still in my range, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's my go for now. Okie dokie. Boop. Estelle, you're up. Oh, great. Okay, we got rid of the slime. What, is what the heck? Oh, gosh. <laughs> We've got a worse situation here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the found sound effect of the king with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, oh no. <laughs> and it's still thinking, Hey, should I summon some backup or should I just teleport there? Um, I mean, what do you think is best? Do you think it's best to uh, snipe it from a distance? Are you confident in a close close brawl? Oh, I didn't say I was fighting. Fair enough. I have two ways to summon things, so I'm just going to summon something. Give me a second. I'm going to cast Summon Aberration. <laughs> Oh, also, I believe I gave you Bardic Inspiration before this as well. Last, last but turn. But you can't use it on a summon. Summons always work. Yeah, I, I know uh, that, but Estelle has Bardic Inspiration. Anyway, well, well, that's happening. Estelle's well, going to well, summon Aberration. I'm just going to say that you can't, you know, both of you have it, because there's, I mean, you're a party of three now, instead of four. So, you're going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Mm. So... It was just I thought. I'll I'll get the I'll get the aberrations down real quick. Mm -hmm. As a GM thing. Yeah, no worries. Because there's a lot of stuff. A lot of information. There. Yep. Uh, cast yeah. time one action. <laughs> range six uh, ninety feet. Uh, da -da 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 duration one hour. You call forth an aberration spirit. It manifests in an uh, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Stat blocks of the spirit. Um, you, you can choose um, one of those. What do you choose, I guess? Appreciate I choose Salad. Have you got one to hand, or...? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to summon them. A monster. Give me a second, I'm trying to summon them. Monster. 
I'm summoning them! <laughs> I've nice. gave the gate open! Okay. <laughs> I'm, su I'm summoning creatures from the from the, from, from, from the plane of chaos, so... Interesting, interesting. Okay, so uh, now yeah. yeah. I was one a second um, was like, wait, aren't you summoning them from the far realm? But nope, slots are from the limbo. Oh, I actually summoned three. Whoops. I'm using twin spell, so I'm casting a, using my using my last sorcery point to summon <laughs> two. <laughs> you can right, you can do that. <laughs> I didn't thought of that. So <laughs> yeah, so let me just minus one. My I minus my last sorcery point real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to get this guy out of there. <laughs> Okay, well, so let before me you do my that, like, you do us a bit of a roleplay of how you cast these things, and I, I want to see what the saying. other two's reaction to it is. From beyond the, the area, from beyond this realm, come to my aid. Spirits! <laughs> and then, and then this the portal, end. this vortex just comes through the portal and, like, these two slad-like creatures, red slad-like creatures, come pouring out. So what? So um, I don't think you can see on the let's see any picture on the token, but a slad kind of looks like a toad-type toad creature. Mm. For oh, yeah, yeah, for reference. Um, okay. And weird. They do. They do. Are they look more like blue slads or red slads? Red slads. So they have large claws. <laughs> mm. Okay. Huh, interesting. The ones they I won't... hate the most, or no? They Blue won't do anything to us, right? <laughs> because they infect oh, no. you. They're completely under my control. I could do anything I wanted with them. Anything. <laughs> oh no. Well, this makes it kind of not better. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> Don't worry. They're not the real things. They're just spirits versions of them. Hmm. Still doesn't make me feel better, but go ahead. Well, I, why does this not have a hit? 1d10 plus 3. Uh, oh, yeah. That was Spring Aura, Regeneration. So they're not the Where... actual creatures. They're just, like, spirit versions yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yep. cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. So it's 1d3 plus spell level, so that's 4. Uh, no, it's 1d10 plus spell level mm. for a hit. On their hit attack makes it... Attacks equal to half the spell level, so two attacks. So you still so need one, roll, one d10 plus roll one d20. Well, it's one d10 plus three, isn't it? Yep. For um, damage. No, here with a stated melee weapon. One d10 plus three plus the spell's level. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, Dead. you still need to roll the dice, right? <laughs> yep. I, it doesn't appear on ro beyond twenty, so give me uh, a second. Roll one. Wouldn't D that be um, plus four? Mm, so plus seven. Oh, it would be plus seven to hit. No one. Um, melee weapon attack. Your spell attack modifier to hit. Yep. So that's plus four, I think. Hmm. Well, let me check. Spell attack modifier. No, it's plus six. Sorry. <laughs> and cool. it would be a plus seven to damage, I think. Yep. So I'm going to roll that real quick. So does a... Death is not hit, right? A ten? Yeah. A ten does not hit. No. And then he's going for his, the first. Okay, his first slab slab go jumps up on there and tries to start slashing at him. First attack misses, and his second attack. That also misses. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> so was that okay, the first the one? <laughs> yeah, the first one just keep, just tries to jump on, but it gets knocked off. And the second one just tries to jump on the other side. Does that hit? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Not that I care. 
<laughs> I'll roll the I'm gonna roll all of them just in case. Okay, there's only one hit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna need to figure out how to do run this later because I was like thinking this was gonna happen later because I thought we took out this guy last session. You took out the burning sludge thing. Yep. So ten damage. Nice. So you see this corporeal like slant slash through him through the vines. Yep. Um, and yeah, it, do, it it seems to take the damage. Phew. Well, they're not as impressive as I thought it'd be. Oh well. I mean, they they've got claws. Mm. And they look vicious. Yeah. Let's but... hope that this works out in our favor. <laughs> Oh, I could try to summon something else if you want. <laughs> uh, wait, maybe wait for it a little bit, in case that the anyway, he's blocked. Well, his retreating, so where should we find? Uh, it's not going to retreat forever, you know. Oh, you did something to it. <laughs> yeah. Like. You know that there uh, was one spell that he cast in the arena, I believe? Yeah. I kind of took the idea of it and made it my own. Oh, nice. That okay. kind of idea. Uh, okay. Well, don't worry. We, we don't want it to run. We wanted to get out of... We wanted to run after we get it out of... Thanks. Grasps. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Right, nice. Uh, is that your go, Gabe? Yep, and the entire round, the slads are just like <laughs> slashing the hey, conversation. It was like, You did ah! damage, that's good. So, so the vines like get shredded a bit, it's good. Yep. Right, Thak, you're up. Can you roll a strength check for me, please? Strength check? Yes, please. Oh, it's the same. You have broken free of the vines wrapping around you. So you're no longer grappled. Okay, and core attack. <laughs> core attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's 13 piercing damage. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that much to do in this form. We could just run, you know, right? <laughs> Uh, so because he did that, I'm going to do it. We're going to have to do another strength check. Uh, do, 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 do. What? Nope, you are still free. So good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that your go? That's your go, right? Yeah. Cool. Shambling rounds turn. Hmm. I did rejoin his player, so make sure I don't see anything I don't need to see. It's alright. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole stream of people seeing behind the damn curtain. It's all good. <laughs> but we don't. But you guys don't. That's true. Um, right. Uh, Shambling Mound's turn. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't make anything but my appearance spirits move to me. Whoops, I can't move them. Yes. It is going to wrap its vines towards one of these tasty looking things that you've summoned. They don't look tasty. One thing, they don't look tasty. Mm. <laughs> they are literally de they literally look like demon toads. Mm, demon yep. toads. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, look, Angry bro. demon toads. Well, can we do a strength check for them then, please? Okay, let me just, let me just um, see them with their strength. Strength saving pro, please. Okay, let me just make sure I know what their strength is. Because I have to pull up their character sheet. Because they have their own character um, sheet. One minute. Um, So, do I have to keep running with the character when I have to, like, from the from the spell that you cast, Sonny? Does he have to keep no. running? Or is it just that one time? Uh, If you... Uh, I believe it's just the reaction. It doesn't say anything about yeah. future rounds. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I was just checking. Cool. Okay. Um, so, Estelle, can you give us a 
strength check for the one above him. Or both Is of that them. Both of them work, yep. So they are they wriggle free of the vines trying to wrap around them. Um, so that's that. Just for how they look, they have a minus two on charisma. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's not what he was going for anyway. <laughs> um... Now that's from DB Beyond. That uh, that was their character sheet. They mm. have by summoning on a higher level, they get even stronger. So mm. yeah, that'd be a shame. <laughs> um, yes. Um, shining around. Grapple and golf target. You pass that. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna do a slam attack. I think. On which one? Because I forgot to give myself control of them. They both have 40 HP. Actually, no slam attack. I'm just going to consume all your... But um, not this turn. Right, Sonny, you're up. <laughs> hmm. So right now, it seems to be concentrating on spreading its vines to the nearest targets, including Thak. But he wiggled out of that turn. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, Sunny, your, your, turn. your turn. Um, can we have a perception check from Sunny, please? Yes. I'm gonna give you 14. some extra information. So you, um, notice that, um... That the blue shimmer of your, um wizardy friend is now closed it was like there and then it's gone now so yes yep 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 that's what you notice when you're all right in. wasn't the aurochs actually uh invisible the whole time <laughs> well little secret this shamblin mound isn't a shamblin mound and it didn't really matter either way so fair enough mostly because he went mm. invisible and then he charged straight at the creature so it's like <laughs> it was great invisibility though, but yeah. It was. It was. I've had advantage all the time on attack roads, but That's true. Well you are, <laughs> you, are great, you are great at invisible. That's true. I mean you have still got that. It's not like it's gone away, but the Shamblin Mount knows exactly where you are because you're goring at right, it. Right. So yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Cool. Anyway, Sonny, you'll go. Huh. I can attempt to do actually that that is not really good for myself yet. Uh, I'll just cast d dissonant whispers at it again. Cool. So if you could That's give me a wisdom saving throw again, of course I I would have moved Passed. a little closer. Saved it that time. It's saved, so it takes half damage, which is, which is four. And it doesn't have to move away. Nice. And unfortunately, all I can do right now. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just right, starting to be right. a little worried. Yep. All right, Estelle, you're up. Well, while you see that, Estelle's like, hmm. Thinking to himself, like, what can I do? Hey, you guys just want to go away? We don't have to deal with this thing afterward. Are you real? Are you really set on fighting this thing? I don't know. This thing seems kind of like weird, and I wouldn't want people to, uh, sure. yeah, to get injured from something like this. Uh, how about this? We've tried to fight it as long as possible, and it seems to be quite slow, so, so I assume we can just book it once we des decide that it's no good. Okay. And he casts his Tulsa's Mind Whip. So make an intelligence saving throw. Because <laughs> it's not immune to psychic damage. And I'll pull that spell up. Dan? 
Yeah, yeah. On it. Did it pass? Let me check. This is... Whoops. I didn't mean to roll it again. I meant to show the information. So good. So it's uh, 12 psychic damage, is it? Yep. Okay, dokie. And, it can and then you can't use your re you can only use your movement, your action, or your bonus action ne next turn. You don't get to use all of it. Okie dokie. Okie a dokie. Cool. You see, so so what does that look like? You s Estelle describes his head like, mm, and then suddenly had like a psychic wave just blasts out and this hits this nice. thing and goes into this thing's head, nice. or whatever it, is, whatever it has a head, and just starts. Interesting. Where were you focusing it? The top, top glowy or the bottom glowy? The top glowy. Okay, okay. Wasn't, so, wasn't um, top glowy even? so that again. Anymore? Yeah, that's still the top glowy. Yeah, um, oh. but um, every time it gets hit, it seems to the top glowy seems to. Uh, go from red to white and then back again. Hmm. Cool. Unfortunately, my spells are more spells that affect the mind <laughs> instead of a specific target. Okay, I will keep trying. Cool. Is that is that your turn? Oh no, my slides are now gonna attack. Cool. So boop. 1d20 plus 6. It's going to roll their attacks to see if any of them hit. That hit. That didn't. That didn't. That did. So two hit. Is it lagging for you? No. I don't think so. So that's You're 8. Perfect. And it's all good. 17. Right? Yes! <laughs> I got a one and a and a ten max damage. <laughs> so perfectly average. <laughs> well, seventeen damage. Uh, right. Good. So the two that hit. Can you roll a strength check? Uh, strength saving throw for both of those, please. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. No worries. Because spell, because this spell is weird. It's all good. <laughs> that it has like everything. Come on. Well, yeah, they've let got strength of sixteen, so it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Did you get it? Six mm -hmm. and thirteen. So both of them find themselves ensnared in the tentacles. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone with the long range ones. Maybe next time. <laughs> well, you always learn <laughs> One can always learn new things. Eh, oh well. These things recover HP as, as they go, so... Cool. They, what? They do? <laughs> yeah. yeah, every right. turn they recover HP. Slabs do. So, this is, in the this is funny uh, reacting to that. <laughs> they heal! Yeah, every time they take damage, they recover HP. So I thought they'd be good tanks to distract the thing Well. Tank does ever whatever he's doing. Pretty good. That Speaking you can't see weird. because the right <laughs> yeah. yeah, invisible. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, Thack, your <laughs> turn. Yeah. You know how it goes. Hmm. Why did I roll two times? Then I first one, one. First one hit. Twelve damage. No, the second this has only one attack. I don't know why it rolled two times. Yeah, it's still twenty. Twenty still hits. And twelve damage and probably a strength roll. Yes, please. You know it. <laughs> uh strength save save, yeah. Yeah, I know it's a oh, save. You're fine, but, you're um, fine. Yeah, yeah. This thing isn't proficient in strength saves. 
I'm not going to tell anything. None of the creatures are. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything more than I've already told you. Cool, cool, cool. So you're not wrapped up in vines from the gore attack. Mm. You seem to become a proficient in dodging vines. That's fine. <laughs> it's not like proficient. It's more like, <laughs> oh, I know how to destroy them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and what does that look like? <laughs> you see this? Probably a ton heavy thing just breaking through a bush, a bush like creature. Yeah, so look, it's a massive vine, so you like goring off vines and ripping them apart. Yeah, what an anime moment! That's amazing. Cool, uh, is that your go? Yeah, nice. Um, so what it's gonna do is lower its body. Spines come out of its back, and the lightning above strikes it, and it channels into itself some... Nice. So that is... There we go. Um, and then each of you in... So that's... Okay, mark that down. That's one round in grappled. Cool. Uh, cool. Sonny, you're up. Alrighty, Roo. Um, I'm out of first level spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of second level spell slots. It's almost like you went through a whole dungeon and then didn't rest when you came out here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try vicious, to vicious mockery him. Okay, doggy. So he has to make a DC 15 saving throw, please. It's done. Ooh, max damage. I'm just Failed. summoning everything. Yep. So what's it do? Eight damage? Yeah, eight damage, and its next attack roll is disadvantage. Cool. Good to know. And what do you say to this mound? <laughs> <laughs> just... Uh, <laughs> just get lost, you big blubbering mass of creepy vine stuff. <laughs> Go away! Sure that's we don't quite like that you. But sure. <laughs> um, it seems to be sad. <laughs> yeah, it's if I my words. I'm a how affected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, but that's the nature of my weird magics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you see the two glowies like flicker a bit, but they're still red. <laughs> so that's fine. Right, is that what? Um, yeah, is that, is that it then, Sunny? You doing anything else? No, I'm good. Are you saying anything to anybody? Other than uh, it'll the probably vicious... be more reaction, but uh, yeah, <laughs> come on, man, you can take it down. <laughs> knock it. <laughs> Try to knock it down. Then uh, maybe we'll have a, uh, a better chance for the the attackers. Cool. Mm. Who are you who are you shouting that to? Or do I have to Tuck. run to activate that ability? Twenty feet, I believe. 10 feet. Mm, 20 feet. Nice. Right. So you could risk an opportunity atta attack now that it's um, mm. disadvantaged. That's true. Right, Estelle, you're up. Estelle's like, oh, they've got this. I don't, I don't have to do anything. But just in case, mage armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that look like? And who are you touching? I was like, oh, they've got this. The point to himself and just poke his chest and then all of a sudden his magical glow goes around him. That's cool with me. You take one, one spell slot off. <laughs> I did. I took one spell slot off and nice. uh, uh, mage armor. Nice. Are you are you moving? Saying anything? I'm telling them. Okay, guys. This is take, getting ridiculous. Take him out already. And they're going to attack the thing again. Okay, well, first, uh, both of them can roll a strength saving throw, please. Okay, let me get that spell. 
Why do I have? Oh, right, because upcasting exists. Mm. Let me click. <laughs> what not concentration? Summon aberration. Oh, it's fifty HP, not forty. No, it's forty. Forty plus ten. Per level, the spell is upcast. Oh. Well, anyway, here's the strength saving throws. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you see both of them get um, vined up even more. And that is their turn. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. so that Baby, is... we should... No. That is two failed. <laughs> two failed saves. Well, would the uh, slads actually have... Uh, I mean, can they still attack when they're being... Yeah, but... I would say so, yeah. 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 So would I'd it be at a disadvantage, though? Yeah, I'd no, say so. Um, I'd say so. If you're grappled? Um, is that what the okay. grappled effect does? Cause... I believe so, yeah. Oh, attacks is, attacks yeah. against them have an advantage, and attacks from them have disadvantage. Yeah, because they're grappled, blinded, and restrained. Yeah. Like, all three of those things. So... Uh, restraint might be another thing entirely, though. <laughs> uh, a restrained target, speed is zero, you can't benefit from any bonus speed, attack against a creature has... Attack rolls against this creature has advantage... Um, the creature attack rolls has disadvantage. Okay, so that works. Not um, well then. Blinded, a creature you can see automatically. Well, they still have, it. they already have disadvantage, so. And they're grappled as well, so. Yeah, but they can attack at disadvantage, should all the Roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls. Yeah. <laughs> one, Missed. two, that's for the first attack. Yep. That's for the second attack. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, so the 16 definitely hits. Nice. <laughs> and one... Okay, only one of them hits. Cool. Give us some damage from that one. 12. Okay, okay, so it takes 12 damage. For the one that hit, <laughs> can you roll a, a, a strength saving throw, please? I should have really chose it. That failed. So, uh, I guess, pick which one hit him. This one. So, this one. You see um, one of them get absorbed into it. Uh, and there's now three glowies in the mound of stuff. Uh, what abilities do did it have? It can attack of claws, it can heal itself. Ooh, that's nice. But it's a summon. That's fine. Um, what um, school of magic is it? You summoned it. Evocation, probably. Abjuration, yeah. Su summoning, basically. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice set of abilities, thank you. <laughs> it's abjuration. Nice, it is. Um, should we be worried? Um, uh, so how much health did he have left as well? 40? 40 plus 10, 40. Right? Nice. No, oh. 40. 40. Well, that's for upcasting. That's fine. So 32 plus 40 is 72, right? Yeah. Oh. Boop. Oh, no. So you see, um, the slashes and the vines that have been getting chopped off kind of regrow. <laughs> Um, yes, and, um, Estelle, like, you, you feel, um, like some of your magic force has been drained. No, no, mm -hmm. it's not me, I just summoned it from another beyond. <laughs> that's true, that's true. You don't feel anything, you're like, I'll just summon more, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okie dokie. Uh, right. I forcefully summon them against their will. It's hilarious. You're just feeding it. I like it. It's good. Um, 
In actual fact, I think I might have a token for the level threes. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, is it here? Is it here? Um, it is a vine creature. Right. Vine creatures. Vine token. What looks suitably... Mm, probably monsters. Ah, oh, oozes, plant. There we go. Shambling mound. Awakened tree. No, it's not that one. Uh, Thorn king minions. That's what it is. That's what it is. There we go. Thorn king vine thorn creature. This one. There he is. Cool. Honestly, the one that you're fighting looks scarier anyway. Yeah. It's fine. Anyway, so three three Orby things are in it now. Uh, Estelle ends the concentration on his summon. <laughs> okay. And that just like so that... bumps it away? Yeah. Okay. That bumps away. Uh, is that your turn, Estelle? It does like, okay, we need to go now. That thing is way be that thing that thing is strong way stronger than I thought it was, and I don't want to get eaten. Yeah, maybe try the the long range uh things. But where is Thank? We need to get him out we need to warn him about this. That's right, he's invisible. <laughs> uh, uh can I make a perception check? Yes. And then Can like, I see like footprints in the a, mud make and a, stuff? Make a <laughs> make what is it? A stuff check with advantage. Um. But he's not trying to hide though. He's so not, would it but... be, would it be a straight roll then? It's still you trying to see him though, isn't it? So... Well, it's eighteen. <laughs> so, you, mm, I'm gonna say you see put. For her friends in the mud, like stamping. I think he's somewhere on there. <laughs> <laughs> you got. Thank, thank you. Move. Get out of close range out of him. Don't even get close to him. This thing is dangerous as crap. Okay. <laughs> Why? How yeah, dangerous um, is the crap? I'm, you know? I'm giving you just an intelligence <laughs> roll. Straight intelligence for this thing. Yeah. If so I know what he says. Let's let's go to you, uh, and then you can roll your perception and intelligence check at the top. Uh, of the round. just so you know, you keep your intelligence from being a normal I human. I know, right? but I have a plus zero. <laughs> Did you roll a straight yeah. three and a four? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So no, <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> well, this thing I is... don't know if. He reacted to that, unfortunately, Estelle. It's well, I have an idea. I moved 20 feet away and then just... Opportunity attack, you get one. Yes, I do. I will do my engulf, then. Do a strength saving throw, please. You have <laughs> just a... Oh, it's a saving throw. Ah, unfortunate. Correct. But you have bardic inspiration. Not that you need it. <laughs> <laughs> you you slip out of his... Vines? Viney fingers? I don't know. He doesn't even have fingers. Vines. You, you Turn around away. and... <laughs> go on up. Off you go. Wait, isn't he not invisible now? Because it only lasts a minute. And I take the bardic inspiration. Oh, so you run away to come back again, is it? Yeah. Okay. That's Just 19 get piercing feet. damage. Nice, nice. Um, It's a 15. And um... I give you the full damage. It's a 8 plus 19, so 27. Nice. Kachunk, you smash a bit off of him. Uh, can I have a uh, strength saving throw as well then, please? You smashed a bit off him, though. So, big old chunk of damage. Nice. Another 17. Yep. Then you passed. It's all good. And because it don't has a reaction anymore, I move up here. Nice. <laughs> I have to know. I know now how to use this thing. 
Because so Dan again, strength save is high enough. Yeah. It's strength is high enough to just dodge most things. <laughs> yeah, that's the benefit of being a big animal. <laughs> that's true. Um, okie dokie. Uh, shambling mount. Hmm. Every round gains a five HP every turn because if it if it gains all the slabs abilities. Yeah, yeah, you can. That, that good, good shout. It well, just just on on it anyway. Is it? Is that yep. just natural? It automatically, it automatically retains okay. five HP. Every so you turn. see it regrow some. Um. Hmm. What to do? That's problematic. Hmm. Well, he's off a being from the outer planes, so I think the realm of chaos is where I summon some of these. <laughs> um, that's where I get my powers too. <laughs> these are all things that um. Oh, don't worry, I can completely control it. Ever since the realm of or law and order put something on it. Or something like realm of chaos i know what slads came from like a stone um it's gonna come towards you and it's gonna try and engulf you again um sec because you look like tasty <laughs> <laughs> i don't look like tasty i don't look anything you do but look yes tasty. Mm -hmm. you've got a pulse don't you <laughs> and you're full of magic aren't you so <laughs> So, strength safe again? Yes, please. Oh, flying colors. You slipped out his grasp again. <laughs> um, I think he's not invisible anymore. That's it. Go. Well, yeah. <laughs> it will probably stop right now because the 10 rounds are probably over now. <laughs> it Also, like, you guys seem to see it go directly for him and even without... With, even when he was invisible, so it's almost like it's got other senses. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, yeah, that's its turn, right? Sonny, you're up. Um, Hi. Well, just before Sonny, upon it. Just before Sonny's turn. Um, Can everybody roll a perception and check, please? Oh, God. Wow, 24. It's like you, like... <laughs> nice, nice. Ooh. <laughs> nice. So all of you have noticed that this bush has got closer to you. And it reveals Wait itself to second. be another one. What bush? This bush. Oh bugger! This bush I can't right see there. it. Can you can you not see the map? Oh, I can see it now. Oh god! I think at that point probably my invisibility would drop. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the trophy even? I have no idea. Um. Uh, yeah. So you see. So Thak see it saw behind you, like over your shoulders. <laughs> this one's coming up behind you. And then you guys see it, basically. And you help that because I think that one's a bigger threat. I'm going to ho I'm going to hold this one off. I can help. One, two, three. Um, I could do something about that. <laughs> there we go. And now it is Sonny's turn. Yeah. I cast Phantasmal Force. So this one you see has two glowies as well. Gl glowy on yep. the bottom, glowing on top. I cast Phantasmal Force at it. Nice. Which it has to give me a DC 15 intelligence saving throw. Nice. So you have to tell me whether it passes or not. Correct. It does not. So I conjure in its mind a big fat rabbit, which is just. Literally made from a spell and just gleaming with magic. Mm, nom, nom. Just off to the side here. Totally just enough. innocently it, nibbling on grass. Can it move huh? after it? <laughs> it's uh, it's an illusion, mm -hmm. uh, which it uh, 
Okay, let me just cast display this in. Oh wow! There. Um, craft illusion okay. takes root in the mind. Take the rabbit in range. From the the holy gr um, from um, Knights of exactly. the Cocoa. Um, um, it mm. basically includes sound, temperature, and all other stimuli uh, that basically uh, that only this creature notices. Oh, so one d six damage as well. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, it's, it's only only if it, only if it's an effect that would damage it, and this rabbit would basically uh, the thing that this about the spell is you rationalize everything. Like if you fall through a bridge, if yep, I can't yep, make you see a bridge, so, so it falls to, through. So, so if it attacks the rabbit yep. and doesn't take an action to try to discern what it actually is, no, it believes that the rabbit is just. Jumping out of its way. <laughs> yeah, it was just going to consume it, and then the uh, rabbit scratched some vines, and that's where the damage is. And yeah, basically just uh, it, not necessarily scratch the vines, just like keeping it occupied. Yes, that's but why it, <laughs> can, it can deal damage. It can that's deal damage why. if it's effect. If it like if I say okay, it believes it's on fire. Well, if it was yeah. squidging a rabbit, I'm, I'm it, it's going to accept accept damage from a squidging prey. Sure. Okay. It? So. Sure. Yeah. Then it would take six psychic damage. But this is only uh, it, it. It's basically on its turn. Yeah, no problem. Not directly. Yeah, yeah. It takes its turn, so that's fine. Up, uh, it takes the damage anyway. I'm giving you help because you're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Sonny, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn. Basically, I also saying, okay. I think I've distracted it for now. Um. Let's get rid of one quickly first. <laughs> Let's get rid of one, then leave. Because obviously, this something is going on here, and I don't, and I did not sign up for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. Something like that. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's his turn. I'm um, what does it need to do? Basically, it thinks it's eating the rabbit right now. That's what it's Yeah, uh, so only it's if it takes an action to discern the illusion, mm -hmm. and I think is, can it make an, uh, a saving throw. It, otherwise, it would make attack rolls and stuff like that against something that doesn't exist. Okay. Because it probably has a minus four, three or four on... Well, in that so. case, Sonny, can you roll us a strength check for a rabbit, please? I mean, no, it's, it's, it's an illusion. It doesn't exist. It's an illusion. Which the uh, thing rationalizes as, okay, it dodged out of my way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then it's going to go for the strongest sources of magic in the area, which uh, happens which to is be a... you guys. Well, it's, uh, as I said, it's a second level spell. As okay. well, okay, which is literally manifested in its mind, and I've so intended to make it like as juicy as uh, or as yeah, yeah. what so I is what do I need it would be. Break that. Mm, okay. uh, as I said, it has to take an action to discern it, yeah, which would uh, would then allow it to roll a intelligence check, intelligence save. Uh, if it that fails, it it still believes that it's real. Oh, it failed it. Totally. Yep, it, it's still going for the rabbit. Yep. It goes this way. <laughs> nice. The one bush moves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's his turn. Okay. Right. Same thing again. No. I have to move 20. Oh, it's not, a, it's not an intelligent saving throw. It's an intelligent uh, investigation check. Oh. Oh, okay. It would wait probably wait. be like this. So you get an opportunity so attack investigation again. Investigation check is a check, ability check, right? Investigation. Yeah. Pro there you go. So even worse. So yeah, that passed. But uh, it failed. Uh, what was the roll that you had before that, anyways? Nine. Nine. So it would uh, it would be? Wouldn't we take the uh, roll of nine before that, anyways? Yeah. So either way, that that did what it was doing, right? Yep. Hasn't passed nothing. It's still going for the fat juicy rabbit. Fun stuff. <laughs> I can always cast it again. Yep. 
Um, I did it, but um, I moved away <laughs> and moved again there. So, mm -hmm. so it's going to use its reaction to mm -hmm. make you do a oh, against strength strength. saving throw. Yes, please. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> Big pile of muscles. Here, I like it. Here comes the tech roll. Yeah, uh, that missed. That missed. It did miss. But it also means oh. you don't have to do a strength <laughs> save, so you're all good. Okay, and because it used its action already, I take my 10 feet of movement again. Nice. To, like, lure it away from the other two I like guys. It. It's like charging attacks. I like it. It's good. Cool. I'm, s I'm scared Estelle's going to die. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yeah. Shambling Mountain. The thing is... Hmm. It's... Well, these guys are on self preservation, so it's going to fold out its horn, like, horn bits again, the, the spines, and absorb lightning. Nice. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. So you see it absorb some lightning, and it seems to be regrowing stuff, but yes. Estelle, you're up. Okay, I'm just checking something, and Estelle is trying to think of something real quick. Like, would this work? <laughs> <laughs> or would that just make things worse? So let me look at my spells. And let me see. Let me look at the my third level spells precisely. Hmm. Hunger of hate are twenty foot radius. It uh, blinds everything in the area with magical darkness and has. <laughs> yep. So this spear. I'm casting Hunger of Hair Hadar. Mm -hmm. Dan? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, so you're casting Hunger of Hadar. I'll I'll post the spell. Okay. Hang on, can you put down the area again? Then I can draw a shape. Um, how can I? Okay, that's a chat bubble. Now I'll put down the area again. So you got painting okay. tools so you can put shapes on. Um, I need to turn my light on. I'll be back in a moment. This started. Uh, where did that go? <laughs> my draw shape. Make it a nice yellow color. Okay, let's try again. Oh, my circles that I'm trying to draw are just disappearing. Yeah, mine also. Yep. Might be because we don't have GM privileges. I'm going to draw shape. I can make... It... I can't no. make a circle. What's like this, right? Yep. So that that yeah, right that like that. And I'll roll that. I roll my hunger of Hadar to show you what it does. A dexterity save. And I'm back. Okay. Dan, I'm casting Hunger of Hadar. It's blinded. Okay. Uh, is that a say dexterity save? Oh. Now, and I'll, we can't draw it, so. That's right. It does not save. Okay, it's prone. Or no, no, no it's grappled. I think. 
Yeah. Right? T- black tentacles. Breathing tentacles grab it and grab it from like from unknown horrors as a black portal comes out and Oh god, like Estelle, what the hell is on with your powers? <laughs> Why are they also oh, weird? I them actually. I wasn't born of them. It takes eight cold and eight acid damage. Okie dokie. The fun part is, this is what I learned naturally. I can replace these spells with other things every time I level up, but D&D Beyond doesn't like that so because it's like a glitch going on, so I can't do that right now, or else I wouldn't have the spell. But now it's coming in handy, so now it's restrained. No, I don't I don't think. I think Hunger of Hater, it's always... Um, every um, aberrant mind sorcerer has it. You can't yeah, every it. aberrant mind sorcerer has it, but you can replace aberrant mind spells mind sorcerer spells with uh, other spells so you open a gateway to the dark between the stars a region infested with unknown horrors 20 foot radius of blackness bits of cold yeah uh, yeah uh, 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 uh. i thought you, you made, opened like... a way to the literal far realm so you open yeah. the portal and before the tentacles even come for it it actually goes into it 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 chooses to go wait what <laughs> Concerned. <laughs> this is not like a plane uh, shifting thing. This is just like an aspect of that area is brought to Yes, space, but you so. remember what happened with the storm cloud, right? Hmm. It occupied a spell. <laughs> okay, you can't, you can't move it. To the far realm. <laughs> well, you can't move it. And even a caster, uh, even if it were the caster, it would get attacked in there, so... <laughs> I guess any creature that starts its turn in the area. It's all good. By the way, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's um, <laughs> it's gone home. It's gonna get tent- <laughs> tentacle whipped. <laughs> There's some cold, clammy tentacles mm-hmm. with a slight zest to them. Uh, sounds like uh. Maybe that was a bad idea. Ending concentration. How long does it last? Minute. Nice. Yeah. So you end your concentration and the portal is still open. Well, shit. Okay. You've just torn a rift in space, yeah? I'm well, cool. not... That's kind of up to debate, though. <laughs> that's up to yeah. the Dungeon Master and you've torn a rift in space. This is what's happened. <laughs> Oh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Um, and I turn back. Mm-hmm. And turn I back. have to give myself again the initiative. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's like, react. I try to make it as, as a reaction because... <gasps> what was this thing? <laughs> Uh, if you reason, don't allow me that, some I reason would my turn mind back has gone to like, <laughs> like a beast transformer or something. Uh, cool. cool. And I have to get a new initiative because. <laughs> yeah. Or I can roll it and then just edit it. Yeah, that works. That's right. So that that was the Star's turn, and now it's your turn. This. Well, Stel says this. Maybe we should just go? Well, technically you got rid of the problem, right? (laughs) You've still got your movement, if you want it. Stel's like, I'm just gonna... leave that there. Whoops, I didn't mean to move myself. I need a ruler. Mm-hmm. It still just starts walking away. So it's like here, isn't it? The black void. Yep. Yep. It's above me. At least on the map, it's north of me. It still just starts walking away. I'm just gonna move four pieces. Not gonna move far. We're like, all right, I'm done with this place. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, that works. That I love the drawing of Hunger of Hader. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, Channing Mound. Uh, right, so what do I do with your illusory ma like rabbit? Well, if uh, if it thinks that something's going on, mm -hmm. it can make an investigation check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's still it's still chasing the rabbit. It goes off this way. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, it seems that that thing is sufficiently distracted. All right, Thack, you're up. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You've got your movement, yeah. First of all, I exchange the. Um, I just take out, uh, away the cat totem from the staff. Okay, just so like... as you do that, your eyes feel um, like a redu reduction in power. Like you, mm -hmm. like your eyes like pulse a little bit, um, and your vision sort of like shimmers a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you, you feel slightly less steady on your feet. It's almost like some balance has been taken away. <laughs> yeah. I have to get identified. I have to get identified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Movement. And that would be my turn. What did you... Did you put anything back on? Any totem on? Or are you keeping it as nope. is? Nope. Nice. Okay. Okay. I have plans. I love it. I knew you'd like the item. That's why I gave it to you. Cool. Is that your turn? Mm, yeah. Nice. Right, Sonny, you're up. Um, I have to get away for a second. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yep. I believe it's creature that I can see. Yeah, that, that wouldn't work. Um, I try to make my presence as uh, unimpressive as possible and try to stealth. Hmm. Not, not so amazing. <laughs> but basically, I just start sneaking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Yep. So, roll a perception check for us. <laughs> I'm just like... Estelle's just like, eh, it doesn't matter what happens in there. It doesn't It doesn't affect me at all. <laughs> That's right. Roll, roll a... Yep. Yeah. yeah, you totally, totally see something more. Uh, cool. Does he see Sonny walking? Yeah, even though he's sneaking in, in Sonny's mind. <laughs> yeah, like... Sonny... Well, I'm trying to make my... Uh, I'm not trying to hide, per se. I'm trying to make my presence as... Nice. Uh, and I'm as a... unimpressive as possible. Nice. Zach, give us what? a perception check, please. Tim? Yeah. Give us a perception check, I think. Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> For me too. Mm -hmm. Um, there's perception. Yeah. You the totally problem I always have <laughs> is that in the, um, in the German edition, it's Wahrnehmung. And it's like the lowest thing. Ah. Perception. And <laughs> here it's like in the lower third. Yeah. No. Yeah. The lower half. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, still starting to third. So, you're making your presence less known to the things? Yes? Yep. That would be my action and movement. Nice. So, yeah. As I said, uh, it's my... Uh, it was my action to basically try to... <laughs> become as small as possible. Uh, that would be my turn. Trying to be quiet. Nice. <laughs> 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 
Estelle just thinks, what the flip just happened? And goes, and just like, I'm out of here. Oh, uh, the shambling mountain started its turn in the in the void, right? Yeah. So it I'm, would take I'm, damage. I'm just sorting, uh, it does. Just, it does. just saying that it would have taken damage, right? It would have. I'm just trying to sort out the map. <laughs> ah, fair enough. So Estelle's just like, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. And it's taken some damage. So that left. That's. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, so the Shambling Mound comes back through and it has two orb, orb things left. And the, the, the rift behind him closes. Yeah. Um, coming back was its turn. So it's this guy's turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Rabbit, real! <laughs> no no, no yeah. one else sees the rabbit. <laughs> it's just the thing that it's yep. that imagines the rabbit there. It's uh, we're just leaving. That. <laughs> we're just what leaving. Is the the rabbit real. Yep, it's still going after it. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I try something. Um, so when it got sucked through the uh the portal, the Storm cloud above you uh, dissipated. So, yes. <laughs> okay. But I've tried to summon something. Okie dokie. <laughs> I tried to use the rod. <laughs> nice. Summon elemental, huh? Yeah. Have you Earth got one to it. hand? Have you got a token? Or... Yeah. Nice. Um, What's the range of the summon spell? Summon elemental. Have you... Got that hand, or can we look it up? Probably 60 feet. 60 feet. Okay, I'm just summoning it here. Mm -hmm. And I have to look up if I have to roll. No, that's. A... No, it's a. Co it's... Is it a. No, it's not summon elemental, I think. Conjure elemental. It's conjure. Yep. Um, where is it? Conjure elemental, the fifth level spell. Yeah, ninety feet range, and um, an elemental chain. Appears in an unoccupied space within ten feet. Yeah. Also, so it appears in ten feet of the area I choose, which has a ninety feet range. So I can summon it here. Yeah. No worries. But um. And I have to roll initiative for it. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, and I just casually move away. <laughs> Fair enough. We're just leaving. We're like, let's leave them to this, this to their own devices. We're done. <laughs> hmm? Nice. Can everybody roll a perception check for me? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey, sixteen. Yeah, all of you notice this moving towards you. What? Which one? This one. This one. This one. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. It's <laughs> Actually, no, you, you kind of passed it, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> Did I summon another portal to literal damn 
complained. Because <laughs> I can. And I will. I just want to get out of here. Let's book it! <laughs> this place is infested with these things. So much. Yeah. Um... We definitely need to tell someone who's a lot more qualified than us. <laughs> Summoning them, putting them into little, little demon planes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right, Thack, is that your your turn? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, that is oh. my turn. Right, Estelle, you're up. Hey, you see? Hey, your friends seem to like this. Go ahead, have a blast, Bell. <laughs> the Bell, third level, mm -hmm. hunger of Hadar. Mm -hmm. So where are you casting it? Right here. Hold hey, your friends need to do this. Hold, hold the circle. There we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. That, that, that's called teamwork, guys. That's what that is. Cool. Yes. cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what's, what does it need to do? As um, ability check. Oh, save. Do dexterity save throw or else it's prone. Save the dexterity. Uh, nine. No. Takes six poison and six acid, and it's and it's grabbed by it tentacles. It does do, and it goes into the portal. <laughs> like a cosmic vacuum. Cool. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nice. I am just walking away from this. <laughs> uh, that's, that's hilarious. Estelle's just walking around, ripping, ripping, ripping riffs in space. You know, you know how it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna walk. You walk. No, oh, it's a radius. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys, hurry up. We literally ha I literally don't want to deal with this all day. <laughs> Is that your go? Yeah, I'm going to go. Nice. <laughs> You're up, Tony. Uh. Um, <laughs> I continue my charade of trying to sneak. Cool. Hey, much more. One, two, Much three, four, sneaky. five, six, <laughs> seven now. Yeah. Cool. Sneak, sneak. Are you doing anything with your actions? My action is to sneak. Wow. Okie dokie. And nice. to keep holding concentration on the Phantasmal Force. Nice. Is that your turn? That is indeed my turn. Nice. Earth Elemental. Yes, okay, the Earth Elemental just goes, bum, bum. Goes it tries to hit it two times. Yeah? Do it, do it. I think we should also say specifically the orbs, probably. <laughs> well, I was going to say. So, where, where are you hitting? Are you just are you just telling the Earth Elemental to hit? Right now, thinking. Um... Hit them orbs. <laughs> For what? Why is it rolling two times? Maybe you're yeah, double think, clicking. Think, you I only need to click started, once. To yeah. No, but it's rolling. Um... 15 and 28. Oh, I I know why. It's not rolling with advantage, but it's rolling like um, both attacks at the same time. So, yep, 15 and 28. No, that no, that's never mind. That's wood be the damage if it would be a yeah. crit so, but so it it's don't. 15 is what you did to hit him yeah and then so roll seven again damage. for the second hit yeah first one missed second one hit though so 13 bludgeoning damage can you roll a uh strap saving pro please <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. It's almost like Earth Elemental's so strong. <laughs> yeah. No. 
it's not a structure or an object, so it doesn't deal double damage. Nope. <laughs> well, it, it was a bush before, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when it came back through, it was the same um, two-orbed one. Mm. So, yes. No, I was just asking because earth elementals are siege, siege weapons. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, no, it's siege not. Monsters. Yep, 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 yep. So it's not a building. Nope. <laughs> was... Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't you worry. You're going to get building versions of them. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, is that you go? Is it elemental? Yeah. Nice. Shambling Mound's turn. Right. That is 10 o'clock, guys. Um, and it's the top of the round. So we're going to bring the session to a close here. Um, yeah, so thanks for playing. How is everyone what? doing? We're going to give out some rewards for this session. Because uh, I introduced this. It would be quite fun. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, we get to, so this is going to be a brief little bit of you know the players uh, telling us how they felt with the session. Yeah, so we'll start with Tim. How did how do you feel the session went, Tim? <laughs> yeah. So, as the problem is, as the, I have less the less to do as a Aurox than as a polar bear or something else, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, it was just the same round every time, <laughs> but it was funny. Yeah. And these shambling mounts are weird. <laughs> cool. Yep. After all. Good thing that mind magics work on them. That is mm. correct. Keeping them and distracted. And hitting them all over. <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, Estelle's just done. He's like, To be okay. fair, yeah, I think uh, we're just escaping right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> And it, uh, they won't be able to ca catch up uh, with us, considering how quick we are. Mm. In the worst yeah, case, no, no, I will count. transform us into weird creatures. <laughs> uh, uh, at least one of us, and then book it. Nice. Operation, get out. <laughs> get GTFO, yeah. yeah. Nice. Operation GTFO. Okay, and so Gabe, uh, how do you feel? Uh, like, as a player, are you enjoying I it? Like, I don't know. Session is weird. Good. Yeah. Is it giving not, you not as vibes? much role play as normally? Yeah. And as I would have preferred, but this is okay as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for a, I was hoping we were, we were going to just escape and then we can just go back and get our goblin re head reward. Yep, we are definitely <laughs> going to do that next next session. Yep. Oh, just be yeah. We're going to send some uh, big people after these these shits. Uh, make sure you're gathering the information as you go in, because that's literally what your scouting party was. <laughs> nice, yep. nice. We okay. are not meant to take these things down by ourselves. <laughs> nice. And you're not. You were never meant to fight these things. This was not our job. Estelle's just like, okay, I'm done with my job. I don't need to deal with this. To be fair, your job was never. Well, we we have them. a lot of information now that they can yeah, take over exactly. spells that they particularly like. Uh, Extra dimensional things, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you're going to have a long talk about Estelle, like, what is your powers? <laughs> now, also, I might message my parents. <laughs> Hint, nudge, nudge. Nice. Once you read the backstory, you'll get it, Dan. Yeah, I, I, I did read it. Uh, good. Uh, <laughs> right, and Chris, uh, how are you feeling as a player? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, as I said, not maybe not as much uh, RP as I would have liked, mm -hmm. or rather RP opportunities, because yeah. combat is well, combat. Combat is combat. You're not wrong. Uh, um, yeah. but otherwise, it's actually all good. We had a couple of nice moments in there. You have, yeah. Thank you for having my rabbit. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't ch uh, just as a note. It wouldn't have to chase. The rabbit endlessly. I know. I, like it could also lose interest. Like okay, I can't catch it. Might as well go for a, a more available target. That is exactly what a rational mind would do. Ah, oh, so it's not rational. Well, that's fantastic. 
<laughs> and we need a spyglass to witness the Earth Elemental taking down one of them. <laughs> Punching his lights out, literally. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yep. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, so each of you gets a um, a fake coin. Yay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I have to use them one time. I'm up to five now. Yeah, I have, I have a lot. I have a lot of bitcoins. And, I have ten now. And don't worry, Chris. We're going to do plenty of role play ne next session. Okay. Hell yeah. It, you know, if I you still need to figure that. out that <laughs> the cost for re river of high is diamonds. Yeah. Well, you've got a whole bunch of loot that you haven't identified fully. So. Yeah, but I also need to like figure out that. The cost for a spell could potentially be like money. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Um, yeah, and we'll wrap it up there. So uh, thanks everybody for being here and catch you next time. Yeah. Bye.